The Elder Scrolls Oblivion, a game that is near and dear to my heart. Yes, I played Morrowind, and I played Skyrim, and Skyrim Special Edition, and Skyrim Game of the Year Edition, and Skyrim Todd Howard Please Stop Taking My Money Edition. However, you can bet I've clocked a lot more hours in Oblivion than I have any of the other games. In that time, I have learned a lot of cheesy exploits. And I mean game exploits, not cheats or hacks, or glitches, or anything like that. Just existing game content. So we won't be covering anything like the freaking duplication glitch, or there's a console command in order to get into like a test room or whatever. We're not going to do any of that stuff. We're going to make the most powerful character with the base game that we can make. And it's really not going to be that hard. But first, you have to understand how the game works. You, I've seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. So at the beginning of the game, you're given a choice of 21 different skills. You can choose one of the cookie cutter classes, but that's just going to screw you over. More appropriately, choose a custom class and choose seven major skills and choose skills that you are not going to level up. The enemies in Oblivion are directly affected by your levels. As you level up, you're going to start to find monsters that are stronger than normal. And if you level up in an incorrect way, you're going to find that these fights are really, really hard. Also, remember to set your sign, your birth sign, to the sign of the lover, so that way we can get rich. Next step, so we're going to become a millionaire. Anything you steal in oblivion becomes stolen in your inventory. What kind Cannot of be deal sold can I at normal make vendors. Today? However, gold coins are lucrative. Plus, gold weighs nothing, so you can carry an infinite amount of it. Go to the Talos Plaza District in the Imperial City and find Dorian's house. Dorian is kind of a jerk. You need to talk to him and bribe him. Literally bribe him every single dime you have. How, Trust how, me, it's, thank he needs it. See? For me? Use your Paralyze skill Bye. on him, and while he's knocked out, crouch down and steal the gold off of him. You see, Dorian has a weird glitch on his inventory where you can't steal all of his gold. You can click as much as you want. It's truly infinite. You just sit here and click and click and click and just become richer. This is where you go online and you download a auto clicker and you get yourself a, a really fancy setup and you just sit there and hold down the button or put something heavy on the mouse button and just let it go here to town. Here we go. After you have as much gold as you want, you can cancel out of his inventory and leave. Dorian will get up after his paralyze has worn off and try to fight you. But it's fine, just run out into the streets and find a guard. You'll be arrested on the spot and, you know, for assaulting a citizen. But if you pay off the guard, he's going to require like 50% of your hard-earned cash. So, no thanks, just go to jail. Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. So, now that you're a millionaire, you want to become an amazing thief or assassin. Serve your time peaceably and pay your debt to society. In order to become a, a master sneak, all you have to do is sneak into a wall when somebody's nearby. You only get credit for sneaking when there's somebody around to sneak around. You could break into somebody's house and sneak while they're sleeping, but they'll eventually wake up and kick you out. So, where can we go? It's easy. Go to jail. Even if you get thrown in jail for a single day, you can stay as long as you like. 10 minutes, 100 hours, even though you're only in jail for a simple crime, you won't be released until you sleep at your bedroll. 
It's all good to them. Sneak into the wall and wait. The guards will see and hear you for a while while you're sneaking, but as your skill slowly increases, they won't hear you at all. After five minutes, your sneak will be like 25. You gain a times four bonus to your sneak attacks, which is cool, but, you know, we're not here for that. Ten minutes later, your sneak is level 50. Now your boots no longer make noise while you're sneaking. Nah, we could do better than that. Sneaking level 75, running and walking no longer makes noise. Now we're talking, you can literally not sprint, but you can sneak run, fast version run, and it makes no difference, which is awesome. We can still go, we're only 25 points away. Might as well go for the top. Boom! Sneak skill maxed out at 100. Your attacks while sneaking ignore 100% of enemy armor. That's worth it. Now, when you crouch down, you turn into the predator. You can crouch down in front of people and disappear. It's really, really good. Now, sleep at your bedroll, get out of jail, and have fun being a ninja. Make sure you check your inventory so that way you still got all your gold. So, you're rich, and your sneaking skills are maxed out, but your weapon skills suck. How are we going to fix this? Well, it can be surprisingly easy. Warning, this is going to require the Vampire DLC. Now, go to the inn outside of the Imperial City and find Rowley Earwolf, or whatever his name is. I freaking butchered his name. I got what you need. He's going to have a bunch of documents in his inventory, special? and you buy the one that says the cattle pens. It's expensive, but good thing we're rich. Stop by town, drop off all your gear, and buy just a ton of weapons. Fast travel to Deep Scorn Hollow and find the cattle pen. This man sleeps forever. He exists only to supply vampires with a place to feed. Regardless of what you do to him, he will never wake up or die. And I sure hope he feels no pain. Proceed to beat the living shit out of him. Eventually, your weapons will break. Switch out as often as you need to, and when all your weapons are broken, use your repair hammers to fix them. So technically, we are leveling two skills at one time. This is extreme proficiency. And no one gets hurt in the process. After one or two daggers, you'll notice you're at level 25. This is where the game gets even easier. Your clicking finger's gotta be tired. So, you put something heavy on the mouse button to do repeated power attacks. So why not take it to the extreme and become a wizard or a mage? I mean, you're already a god among men. Why not add magic into the list of achievements here? Question. The problem is, learning the old-fashioned way by reading a book, spells, is boring, and this is a video game where it's supposed to be adventure, non-stop, running, and 
you know, slaughtering enemies. I mean, who has time to read a book? But that's okay. There's another solution. There are spell crafting altars in the game. There's at least four of them that I know of. And becoming the guild leader of the Mages Guild is probably the easiest way to access one. Unless you own the DLC for the Frost Crag Spire. You'll get a little notification, like... And then you go to the Frost Crag Spire, you walk in, and then you fast travel back to the marketplace in the Imperial City. Go inside the Mystic Hello. Emporium awesome. and talk to the nice elven lady it's and buy pleasure. a set of candlesticks. I Return to Frost Crag, walk all the way back in because for some reason when you fast travel you have to go all the way out here to where you start. Get back up inside, go over to the spell altar which is the one on the right, and add the candles. Now you can literally make your own spells. You want a spell that costs as little magicka as possible. One or two is fine. Create the spell, set the scaling as low as possible, and have the target be self. And the best part about this is you can put something heavy on your keyboard on the cast button and just walk away. You'll just continually cast over and over and over again. It's beautiful. But right now, we're going to switch to Alteration. Oh, well, I guess that was not an Alteration spell. That was an Illusionary spell, but that's okay. We can learn Illusionary spells. destruction spell I'm using the uh, damage fatigue for one second on self well, it seems I haven't touched alteration at all that's just not gonna work I'm gonna use the shield ability on self of course call this one training alteration 2 since we already screwed up the first one. You can't delete spells once you make them. That's kind of sad. Just seeing those 100 stats isn't enough. You have to use them. Well, that's pretty much it. That's how you create a masterful character without ever hitting level 2. I guess I could show my stats. Days past 36. Training sessions 10. Skills up 440. Mastered 6. Bounty, nothing. Fame, 8. Yeah, this is a brand new character.
days jail, two. Spent two solid days in jail. Assaults, yeah, that that's that's probably legit. Yeah, I don't think you want to know what my hours played on this character is. Talking about the hours it takes to freaking learn all the magical spells and to level up freaking blade skills and yeah, just to remain at level one, which I didn't actually stay at level one. I actually gained a level by accident. So I think uh, conjuration was one of my majors and accidentally gained a level. Yeah. And now that all the training is done and I finished finished make the video, now I can actually enjoy playing the game. Just overpowered as hell. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a thumbs up or subscribe. Thanks for watching.